So what we've shown you today is a modern day vehicle that stays true to the original Wrangler. In so many ways, the new Wrangler is being created by the people for the people, based on their suggestions and feedback over the years. So what does this new ride mean for Toledo and how are fans and workers reacting? Our team has you covered. Amy Montgomery and Curtis getting the response from a group with a passion for all things Wrangler. While the official unveiling was in California, we got a look at some of the new models at the Toledo Assembly Complex. And 13 ABC's Lisa Guyton leaves our coverage with a story that you'll only see here. Lisa. Well, building the all-new Jeep Wrangler has been a top-secret operation for the last couple of years. But today, the world got its first look at what has been happening here at the Toledo Assembly Complex. And everyone I spoke with here at the plant says this new model is a home run. What's been under wraps for about two years made its official debut in Los Angeles today. There was an unveiling of sorts here in Toledo, too. It's bigger, it's wider, it's taller, it's smoother. This is the all-new Wrangler. It is everything you wanted and more. Uh, we're not going to disappoint our new customers or our previous customers. Diego Nakashima is the launch manager for the Wrangler. It is very exciting to be able to share what we have been working on. It, it's been this secret that we have been keeping. The first prototypes were built in a secret space inside the Toledo plant. Eventually, the workforce began making pilot or test models on the lines. And those models continue to be built today. I was on the launch team and got to watch it be built, you know, from the very beginning. We started in January. Uh, had to keep it a big secret, so that was really hard. Cole Young is the third generation of his family to build Jeeps. It all started with his great grandfather. He likes everything about the new model, but he has a few favorite features. I just like the size of it compared to the to the old one. Um, I'm always I love the grills of the Jeeps too, and this grill just it's my obviously my favorite feature of it. It's really exciting to see how they fused all the lights and everything. It's cool. While the lines are true to Wrangler's roots, there are a lot of changes. Everything from the interior, which now includes things like a backup camera and blind spot monitors, to a retractable roof and a big change to the windshield, which is now a lot easier to fold down. It's easier because we can remove four bolts from the top of the header and the windshield comes down. Uh, it is that simple. Uh, uh, with the right tools and the right person doing it, uh, you can be done in three and a half minutes. So what was first made here in Toledo more than 75 years ago continues to be a driving force in our local economy and a source of pride for the men and women who make them. When you see it go down the road, you know, I'm proud to know that I built it. Every time I see a Jeep, I'm just like, yep, I built that. It's our commitment. Uh, we want to not only do the best for the company, but we want to do the best for the community. Now, as you heard, the Wrangler is still in what's called pre-production mode, meaning the SUVs are not yet being built for customers. At this point, there is no set date, but we do understand that the new Wranglers, what you're seeing right here tonight, will be on dealer lots early next year. Reporting live at the Toledo Assembly Complex, Lisa Guyton, 13ABC Action News.